But you know, that's why I love this drill so much of being in that what I call position of strength. Right. And then right. hitting it. You know, that yep. drill there is not yes. possible unless I'm facing my hands yes. with the club on plane and then can rotate with everything through together. Yeah. It's a good drill for you. I felt like, well, how can I get this club? Because I know I get it way behind me, but I don't think it's because necessarily my arm path is so bad. It's not like I'm peeling it way in here. That's what I wanted to explain to you right away. A lot of people take it straight back, but let's take it straight back with no hinge. Right. The club is under the hands right. at that point right there, so right. where's it gonna continue to go? Exactly, Behind. right. Now, let's take it back to the same exact spot. Right. And let's add leverage. I Oh, well now the club's up in front of my hands. And then also it can it crawls get, up the forearm. It crawls up the forearm instead exactly. of this thing. Exactly. When the hands stay low, right? the club gets up. Got you. When the hands get up, yes. the club stays low. Yes. So leverage is created as a result of what you already have in your setup. It's already there. Right. If I keep my hands at this level and use that left shoulder to push down and away on the handle, right. Well, there's where the club hinges up. I love showing this right here because you're going to see how long he keeps his hands Under the floor. line? Oh, I see. Yeah. So what he's doing, guys, is he's pushing away right. on that handle to right. create this leverage. Because I used to get long and extra. I didn't mm -hmm. set it, and then I'd let it settle. Yeah. You're pushing down and away, and then you're pushing up and away. And right. the funny thing about that is none of the swing is actually taking place back here. It's just the big right. body turn that moves it there with that set position. Right. So the one thing I wanted to show you there was, yeah, the set position is yep. what's creating that. Now, if we were to another Aussie, let's go with Adam Scott. Look at the angle that he already has here between the left arm and the club. That angle right, right there is there. That's leverage. I got yeah. Downward pressure on that handle. Look how the hands stay low under the belt. Yeah. There's where that club sets. Yeah. And, and I think it's important to say, you know, I always say there's what ha happens below the belt, there's what happens above it. Mm -hmm. Below it is the set position, above it is just simply turning that set position to the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, that, mm -hmm. and, and what these guys are doing so well is at this point right here below their belt, mm -hmm. they have the club very set. Exactly. And both they already have, have an angle. Correct? They already have an angle. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, that's where, when, yeah. when, when, you're, when you're working on this, and here's where the mistake is, people hear set, and then they start actively trying to just do it with their wrists. I know. That can further disconnect you. And this is what I want you to feel. The shoulder, the handle, and the club are Working at the same down. pace. You're feeling this. You're feeling literally that right there. Right. And if you can get that elbow in there with me, then now we're in the set position. If you can get into what I call a position of strength mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, unless a sand wedge, I'm able to hit 100 yards from yep. pocket high. If I turn but don't set, right. I got nothing. Totally. If I hinge but don't turn, right. you got nothing. I've got nothing. Right. But if I hinge and turn, right. I have some zip right there. Right. And I think that every golfer, all my young ones I built like this too, yep. I want them to understand, hey, this is a position of strength right here. Right. You should be chest looking at hands, yep. the proper amount of leverage. So now you have connection, mm -hmm. you have the leverage, well now guess what you can do? You can rotate and release that yep. golf club, which gives you the power. Yep. No, don't yep. let it get above here right now. Hold it there, oh. and I want you to pause it. Do you mean this? Right there. I want you to literally pause it there. Hold it for a second. But I want you to make sure when you get there, yes. you actually feel like you can crush it, and then right back through. Did. There it is. There it is. Yeah. See, I want you to put it right there and hold it. Literally hold it for like a yep. second or two, and then go. That's what I want to see. Yep. That right there yep. is a great warm-up drill for yep. you, buddy. And you get, when you do the shorter ones to start with, you're guaranteeing connection. Yes. Mm. If I'm you, yeah. I'm doing that drill regularly. Totally. Now, this is one that helps a lot of our viewers, and Todd gave me when I was younger. He put yep. the club heel to toe. Now, if you're only pushing down on the handle and yep. not turning your body, yep. the direction of your hinge is happening in that direction. I got you. Yeah. So if you b combine not a hinge that goes this way, right. but a hinge that goes this way. Yes, and a turn. And a turn. You got it. I so got I'm going yeah. to put that there for one sec just so you I can feel it, okay? Same. Right got, there, buddy. There it is right there. I see how immediately yep. that helped? Yep. You know what's funny, John? I know I'm not. I know the shot wasn't great. Your backswing, though, better. Night and day. Yep. Night and day. I I, I hear you on this thing. I, I I've been thinking about it, and I know it's exactly oh, it's so much better right there. Yeah. That was way different right there. Yeah. They give you this one. Do you know what I mean? You know it's what like I mean? It's like you're pushing a beach ball below the level of the water. The Thanks. level of the water 
yeah. is at your belt level. Yeah. The beach ball's here. Yeah. You're pushing it low and away I as you it, turn. Yeah. And you can feel your body really has to engage to do that. So what John said is actually big, you guys, because think about it. If you just pick up, right. you're almost alleviating ground pressure. Right. And that's when the shoulders well, do come up this way. You get in there and it just becomes, I'm gonna push low and away. I can feel myself pushing into the ground. Exactly. And as you said, I can really yes. push off. More with the left hand down the way though, yep. okay? Yep. Get the hands low, club up. Yep. It was better. Look at this takeaway. Is that takeaway hey, better? Oh, it's way better. See how we're start, starting to get up the forearm? Oh my God, yeah. Look at this, look at the clubs down yeah. inside the ball. Yeah. And look at the clubs covering the hands here. Look at that, it's yeah. right on the forearm yeah. there. And yeah. then there we are at the top. The, the guy who leaves taking that lesson like this, oh, I'm gonna set it. Yeah. And they go like this and they're getting their thumbs up. It, it's just, it's, it's all disconnected. The arms and club are just floating yeah. behind you. But it's just such a huge lesson to understand the hinge happens with the turn. Yep. The hands and club are paced by the shoulder. Yep. And if yep. I can get that downward pressure happening yes. on the club, you know, the at the same pace. The downward pressure is huge. Huge. I mean, really push it down the way. Yep. And here, and here, and, and here. away means that way. This. So here's the feeling. This way. Yes. Yeah. Here's the feeling for you. I want, I want you to get in there. I want you to feel it. So we have number one here. Yep. And then number two, you're pushing right here. Yep. Okay. That's yes. where you should be. Okay. Nice and slow. Yep. It's different, John. It's much better. Yeah. Rhythm is the glue that holds the entire golf swing together. Yeah. There is a pace that everybody can accomplish what we're trying to accomplish successfully. This well, the last lesson before you today. You know, he 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 for the first five ten shots of the day, he had the right thought. Yeah, right, struggled right. with it because he was going a million miles per I, exactly. hour. Exactly. And now when I say slow it down, here's what I'm talking about. When you're setting the club, I want you to really work on using that shoulder to pace this motion. Yes. And work on that shoulder moving the hands back. Yes. I, as I say, the, the turn's happening at the same speed the club's hinging. So if we can get that happening together and not mm -hmm. have hinge happen without yeah. turn, not have turn happen without hinge, we're going to see it. Yeah. Okay. And you can see, like, I hit that draw pretty effortlessly yep. because it's so connected. Now watch, I don't have to hit a draw. I can hit a cut no, just I as easily. It, yeah. But watch, very connected together. There's the cut, yep. right? So the whole point is, why can I do both? Well, it's because that club and me are one. Now, yeah. for, for you, John, we know this. The no set yep. leads to late settle. Yep. That leads to the transition being a little bit lost. Right. And then you having to wait for it to catch up. Yep. So I would be doing two drills regularly. I would be doing the one where I feel like, okay, number one, I want to get to a position of strength right here. Yep. And then rotate through. Yep. Okay. The next one, I want to take it from there and I want to go and then through, right? Yeah. Those two right there are the ones I want to see you kind of incorporate into the, into the repertoire. Oh, buddy. Yeah. It's better. Much better. Yeah. All right, so I know what I know what so I got to do. So it's great. You got two parts today, right? You got yep. two parts, and you, got, you know what's nice? You're leaving with a little backswing thought, a little yep. downswing thought. Yep. Backswing thought would be okay. Listen, we're creating this L between left arm and club. How are we doing that? We're using the shoulder to put a little downward pressure on the handle. As I keep turning to the top of the swing, there it yep. is. Yep. But most importantly, the hands need to come down under that right shoulder. Yep. More through the midsection of our body. We're keeping our hands in front of us because our chest is still facing our hands. Right. And that's where we can rotate through at the bottom. Yeah. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.